Okay, good. We have sound. So we were dying from sound right as I was saying how wonderful it is to be with this glorious jewel of a woman, <laughs> this beautiful, wonderful woman. Stop it. It's true. It's true. <laughs> at her house for a style stream because we're doing a new version of style streams and I'm so excited about them and I wanted Ness to be here in person for us to do them. So so here we go. This is very great. Hi. Hello. Hi beauty queen. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. We are at Chloe's beautiful house that has not one but two outdoor spaces mm -hmm. that she has like created. That she's you know made these like wonderful environments to use. So yeah, you know they say when you have an apartment, the ultimate is either to have laundry or outdoor space, and that's that's like the ultimate in living. And so Chloe has has created, Course. yeah, <laughs> you've done it, you've done it, you have it. Yes, I Very do. Impressive. Check, check, yeah, check, check. Hey, Jen, we are having a beautiful day. Thank you, Abdul. Thanks. Sound, yeah, yay. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, so okay, let's. So, okay, okay, here we go. We're gonna talk today about style stuff. Right. Now the first thing you said to me <laughs> when I walked in was I have no style. <laughs> but it's not true. She's not telling the truth. You do why do you say you have no style? Okay, I say I have no style because I I feel like I tr I always try to look nice. Right? Right. That would be my style. Like what looks good on me. But I don't think I have a love of like like you do, like a love of, I'm not looking for anything like original or I'm not looking for anything. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that that's what you're doing, but that's what no, no, I no, feel but that, like that's you're your perception, doing. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. And it's not like I'm ever thinking in terms of expressing myself through clothes. That's what it is. That's why I say I don't have a style because I don't feel like I'm trying to say anything with what I wear. And yet, and now, yet. now, yeah. it, now that may be the case. And I want, and yeah, my yeah, next yeah. question is going to be, how do you best like to express yourself? Yes. That's going to be the next. But that said, you have definitely curated a look. Mm, you that's true. often go toward these greens. Yeah. You often are in a dress. Yes. You often, you know, you like, you, you like this very sort of lovely, poetic, <laughs> Like I was get one of the things that I'm doing in these style screams is I ask people for like you know how to concisely describe their style, mm. and I feel like the words that I used for you yeah kind of describe your style too yeah I told Chloe like I don't know maybe a year or two ago that she's a gentle badass ah <laughs> and so her style is also sort of gentle badass. There's a certain, you always go for regal tones mm -hmm. and regal shapes. You don't do cutesy. Mm -hmm. You don't, you, you do, you'll do like diaphanous. Mm -hmm. You'll do like very pretty. You'll do yeah. dreamy. You, d you know, things always have to be kind of flowing. I don't think of you as like doing tight. No, they, You're not they trendy. comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> is, part of, is like definitely my style, but that's but that's why I say I have no style. It's like I would rather be comfortable than be nicely dressed. If I can do both, I'll do both. But it's like, yeah. Sit me. Yes, <laughs> but you're not scared of color. No, you're not scared of texture. No, you're not scared of certain shapes. Like certain people yeah. are like, I only will wear blah blah. Mm. You you go with it. Yeah yeah yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I do have style. You have more style than you realize. You, I mean, you have a very specific look. You yeah, have a look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. How do you best like to express yourself when you... Oh, um... So, when I what? What was the end of that sentence? Like, just in general? In general? As, a, as a creative person, how do you best... How do you best like to express yourself? I think there's a... There's a... It's like a bouquet. Yeah. It's like it's a lot of things. Yeah. Um, I love to write. Yeah. Obviously. So writing is, but writing now is a weird thing because it's it's something I love to do and it's my work and it's very frustrating. So it's I I'm not sure. So a lot of the times I'm not sure if I would if I do it for fun <laughs> or, or anything. Got it. But I do do it. I like I can't help it. Whatever I do, even if I'm not like writing, writing, writing for something. Like right, because even when you're not writing for work, I'm you're always writing. writing. Yeah. So that's definitely something. 
Uh, I love working with my hands. I love making things. Like, I don't know if you've seen in my house, like I, I made this mobile with origami. I like making, you know, like I the love branch, yeah. like the, it's like a branch, a tree branch. And then there's like these or, origami um, birds, love. you know, flying, floating from them and stuff like that. I like painting. I like making gifts. Like that's basically what I do. The other thing that I love to do, that it really, that I think that's like the epiphany, like that's like the thing where I express myself the most, but I won't be able to show you. Maybe I can show you a few pictures, but I like to create rituals. Tell me what you mean. What I mean is that I have a very, like my, um, my uh, inner life is very important to me. I spend yeah. a lot of time, you know, kind of um, digging, you know, in my psyche and trying to figure out like why basically, because, why I, I'm like blocking in yes. certain areas of my life. And then from time to time, I'll, I will figure out that, oh, there's like, there's this pattern, you know, that I keep repeating, for example. And it, if I want to undo the pattern, I'll create a ritual. So let's say, I love this. Let's say I'll, I'll just take something generic, uh, like, mother daughter issues okay? okay let's say i have an perfect. issue with my mother perfect no one can relate <laughs> no one nothing yeah and yeah um and i'm realizing maybe that wait guys is there a problem no no with the black Raf is saying that he's got a black screen but then says it's fine okay all right good so long as it's okay okay go on so let's say I, yeah, right, so mother-daughter issues. And so what I'll do is basically I'll think about the problem, <coughs> what it represents, like the essence of it, you know, like what's at the bottom, what, what is at the bottom of the bottom of the bottom, and I will represent that, and I will, so if I'm trying to like break a cycle, let's say, so I was going with the mother-daughter thing, so. Love it. Uh, let's say I have like a codependent, <coughs> you know, relationship with my mother, or I feel like we're too attached by something, or that, you know, I'm, I'm, whatever. I will make something that represents me, and then I will make something that represents her, and then I will like, I w and I have to say something, I, I won't. I'm loving this. This is what I'm, I will invent something, like this is just an example, but it could be all sorts of things, right, you know? Right, it could right, be right, a painting, it could be like, it could be whatever, but I could create something that looks like her, create something that represents me, then tie them together with a chain, right? And then I'll go get like an electric saw <laughs> and like cut the chain open and like do these things that represent what's going on inside of me. And so sometimes it goes, it becomes so wild because sometimes I really become like this stage director and I put all these symbols in and I like, I add, you know, like, I don't know. I become very uh, meticulous with the, the like what, what fabric I use that I then my style this. expresses myself. The, then it's it's a, yes. Then it's important for me to be specific about, you know, everything. And describe the most elaborate one of these. Okay. Your most elaborate ritual. The most elaborate one of these, the thing is I can't re exactly remember what it was, but I could show you pictures, would that help? Maybe I'll show them off. Yeah, okay. I definitely want to see. I remember having an epiphany about... <gasps> Okay, this is gonna sound so abstract. No. Is that okay? Everyone, are we all good with this? <laughs> Absolutely. Wait, you know what? Yes, I lost it because I, I keep doing that with your phone. I'm so bad at this. Wait, let me see. We got the chat? Oh, yeah. Well, I just need the chat back. Done. Okay. Okay. Tell me. So, the I think the most elaborate one I did was actually in LA when I just got here. And I had had this realization that, that I was. That, that I was only, that I only existed thanks to these kind of beliefs that I had, right? Like yes. that, that, for example, that success was scary or that I didn't, I was like, I, I can't even remember, but I, I remember realizing that it's like if I didn't have those things, there were like four core beliefs that if I didn't have them, like I didn't know who I was. Right, that these right? beliefs made your identity. Exactly. Right. Got it. So I, I went to get this like doll, which was like a, just a rag doll. And I wrote Chloe on it. Okay. I remember I had this table, this, um, I don't have it anymore, but I had this low, this coffee table that I turned around. Okay. And I took some string and I tied this Chloe doll to each pole, right? So you had this Chloe doll 
like a attached like this like and at the extremities of each chord I wrote one of those core beliefs right okay and under at the bottom on the floor I put like this whole bowl of water right I'm obsessed that you did this. Okay. <laughs> and I put like, and then I always do like, I put crystals in the water and like I, you know, like I, I bless the water or whatever. Like I put intentions of it, whatever. And then, okay, so then I was ready for the ritual. Because okay. Because it was basically me and maybe like on one corner there was something probably like, you know, with my family and then it's like a belief that I can't, that I, that I can't, that I'm not allowed to have success and it's like belief that if others don't succeed then I can't really succeed either and then another sort of thing, whatever. And then I remember I, I realized that those beliefs were born at a certain period of my life. Yeah. So I looked for songs that I used to listen to at that period of my life. I put those songs on, and then magic happens. Magic happens. I love this. Um, so. <laughs> I love this. So the songs go on, and maybe like they used to, we listen used to listen to them in my house maybe when I was like nine. So like all these memories start going up, and you know, and like I start crying, which by the way is the only like that's basically the point of the ritual. Right. Right. Because I believe that you heal through emotion, yes. right? So it's yes. like getting going get back, going back to those initial emotions that then created the block, basically. Yes. So all these emotions start coming out, and then when I feel ready, I take some, I took some scissors and I cut every one, like every one of those cords that was, you know, maintaining me attached to one of those beliefs, so I could let go of those beliefs. And what happened was that the little Chloe. Sunk fell into the into water. The crystal water. Right. Fell into the water. And then I just basically looked at her drown. <laughs> I took all of the beliefs. I put them in the water with her. Then I recuperated everything. I bundled it up with string and actually with those cords. Right. And then I went to Santa Monica and I threw in her I threw her in the water and I said goodbye <laughs> to that part of me. Yes. That's it. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I know it sounds completely crazy, but... No, it doesn't. Regardless, I don't care because I'm creating something in that moment that makes total sense to me, um, that I do find quite entertaining as well. Right. And you know, I get a good cry out of it. Why not? <laughs> and, it worked. and I bet it worked. I bet that you yes. felt released from and those things. Yes, and I do. And and little by little, and I always do these types of things for like any any time something big happens to me. Like, yeah. I <laughs> now have you been creating rituals since you were little? Not since I was little, but probably since I was like a late teen. Yeah. Was it because you like had a thing with witchcraft or something, or did you just well, have I the never idea to called do this? It, I never called it like that. I I jokingly call it like you know witchcraft since I live in LA, right, <laughs> basically, right. um, because everyone knows what it means. But um, no, not people leaving. People love history. it. No, people love it. People are loving it. I'm out. <laughs> no, people are absolutely loving it. That yes, queen. Um, what an absolute queen. Queen. <laughs> Flames. I love that. Such a beautiful way to express yourself. Yeah, no, you're getting your, yeah, love. But, Total um, love. But yeah, no, I, I don't think I, I, I don't know. I think I started, I think I started at the same time that I started exploring, you know, myself, my inner world and realizing that, that, you know, a lot of people go through therapy and they and it's very wordy. Yes. You know? Yes. And I didn't really want to do that. And I think I just wanted to, yeah, create something. And that's also Symbols something that I like. Is you're, you could just be like, okay, I went through this and it was hard and whatever and just stay in it. But instead, I'm also making something yeah. out of it. And I think that's just as big a part of the healing process than anything else. I totally get that. Yeah. I love that. I Me too. love that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that But that but it also, I mean, whether you realize it or not, it it totally marries with your style that you say mm. is just comfortable and that you don't think about style. Like you you don't want to be impeded by what you're wearing because you're busy making things and you're busy yeah, creating things. Yeah. You obviously resonate with green. Has green always been your favorite? Uh well green is my eyes. So I figured, and, and when I was a redhead, I'm not, 
exactly redhead anymore, but um, I don't know, it suited me. Yeah. So yes, I've yeah. been going with green a lot, but I think it's just because I feel like it suits me. <laughs> it does. It does. But, um, it's gorgeous on you. Yeah, I'm not very, yeah. So I'm not very, uh, I don't explore a lot, let's put it that way, maybe. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But no, I saw some things that were hanging in your closet that yes. looked really fun. Really? It looked, oh, I saw something sequiny. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like that. I don't think that you shy yeah. away from, from... No, but I would wear that at a party. No, I don't shy away, but I won't, but for, it still feels safe to me. No? Well, some people the don't. Oh, right, yeah, that's true. That's some true. people don't. That's true. That's the, okay, I need you to show me. Yes. I need you to show me. Come, come okay. I'm going to go inside. I need you to show me your three favorite items, like your three favorite things. Okay, clothes-wise? Yeah, um, sure. And they're, actually, you know what, if you want to, I want to see that. We're going to see the three favorite things, but then we're also going to see three things that Chloe can't live without, three products <laughs> that you can't live without. This is Chloe's absolutely wonderful, adorable house that I love so much. Come. It's so cute. So, do you want me to turn off the fan? No. So. Shall we, shall we? Yes, yeah, so what do you want? You want my three favorite items? Is that what show you said? Show me your three favorites. Like if there are three favorites. Okay. This is one of my favorites. And for any type of day or any occasion, you, right? Three, like the three, like, oh, these are the three things I couldn't live without. I love these three things. These are my three favorites. Okay, so this is uh, my Claudie Pierlot dress that I love. love. It's just like, yeah, again, it's like, it's flowery. Why do you love it? Yeah, it's, it's flowery. Well, I don't know, I, I love the cut. So Claudie Pierlot is a French brand that I really love. And I just love the cut of it. So when I wear it, it's super comfortable. Mm -hmm. But it's also, I don't know why it looks amazing in a way that a simple dress sometimes doesn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, would I would say something that represents like the French girl style is simplicity. Yes. Very simple and it's almost like you don't want to show, it has to seem effortless. Yes. Effortlessness. Yes. Just like with the makeup, you know, like usually a French girl would ju will just put like red lipstick. Yep. And that's it. Yep. Or it will seem like that's it. <laughs> right, right. It secretly uh, is other stuff but yeah, it looks like all there it is, looks is like some red They lip. woke up and just Put some and they're perfect on. and, and they're, they're glorious. Yeah. Right. So I would say the simplicity. Um, I don't think they. I, I've always heard this thing. Maybe it's not from typical, typically Paris, but no more than three colors at really? once. Really? I think that's a very. I, that might be a French tip. I don't think they ever wear more than three colors at once. Okay. Okay. And that sounds it would right. get loud. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right for the, sure. for the atmosphere. For what that look is. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Um, An unspoken rule. I guess. And I don't know. Um, well, what I do know is that French girls definitely care more. Yes. I, I like that. I, that's not like a tip or anything, but since... I've learned not to care about I w about what I wear since I live in LA. Before you moved to LA, you cared more. I cared more about what other people would think, about how okay. I would be perceived. Okay. Okay. I didn't care more about what I wore, but I uh, I was more yeah I paid more attention. I don't know. See what I mean? You yeah you were more you were more subconscious I guess. Yeah, of course, sure. <laughs> subconscious sure. yeah. Sure, and then and, and in LA, well, part I mean, you were away from everyone, so you got to be like, I get to be whatever I want now. Yes, but also people <coughs> don't look at you the same here as they do in Paris. I the sizing up, you mean? No, I just mean um, I feel like in LA, no one cares what you wear. <coughs> like on the street, if you go to like to the supermarket, I feel like no one's looking. I think you're right at the supermarket. <laughs> I'm dying. Sorry, guys. I think you're right at the supermarket, but <coughs> no, when you're out and about, yeah, I think they're definitely looking. Well, I don't feel. Not the same. I feel like they're looking with maybe a more open mind. Yes. Maybe that's it. Yes. yes. Uh, it feels like no one is is defining you. 
let's say, based on that. You and there's much more diversity in LA. Oh, definitely. Just like yeah. on a on a regular basis. Okay. Now, we're gonna go in the other room. But okay. the first challenge is okay. So here's the game, guys. Drum roll, please. And if you guys would like to add suggestions, you can add suggestions into the chat. But you'll get along. You'll like get on with with what I'm thinking once you hear this. Okay. You have five minutes okay. to get dressed okay. to go to the Oscars. Ah! Okay. Five minutes. Oh my god. What do we think she's gonna wear? She's got five minutes to get dressed for the Oscars. Let's see. Five minutes to go to the Oscars. Well, you're gonna love. I'm gonna love it. I know I will. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not five minutes to like get your makeup on or anything. No. It's just to get your clothes on. I'm... Yeah. Oh, Anchor on. says it's working out. Okay, good. What? I'll put my makeup on in the taxi. Perfect. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, and you can have. No, I said you're gonna. Whoa! Love. Whoa! Fast! Oh, we know this dress. Exactly. This is exactly <laughs> what you wear to the Oscars. Yes. This is perfect. You know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> so no, no, this is a perfect dress to have in your closet to go to the freaking Oscars. Isn't it? Yeah. Perfect. I love Where it. Where did you get this dress? Uh, this is actually the second time in my life that I'm wearing it because right after I. I mean, I bought it just before our little Oscar party. Oh, perfect. And then there was COVID, so I never had the chance again. So this is my second time. Um, it's from an Israeli designer. I love it. And I got it at Polka Dots. Polka Dots. Do you know that store? No, now I want to go to Polka Dots. You don't? I don't know Polka Dots. No. No, now I've got to go to Polka you Dots. You need to go on third. Okay. On West 3rd, right next to where your French friends live. Okay. Uh, there's this vintage store called Polka Dots. This is adorable. And you will love it. This is a great dress. Yes. I love this. Okay. What? I love this. Okay, so do a spin. Do a spin for us. Yeah. And you know what? Oscars. And if you did this with a swipe of red lipstick. Yeah. And a good little clutch, you totally could go to the Oscars. You're perfect. Thank you. Look at you. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you're so good. Ready. <laughs> so good. Okay. Next challenge. Next Are you challenge. ready? You ready for the next challenge? Yes. Okay. What is the perfect convention outfit? You're going to a con. Oh my perfect God. convention outfit. Five minutes. You just sit there. What? So it just pops out. It's all in frame. Okay. You just sit there. I'm going to sit over there. Okay. You want me to come back? You no, know, no, never. Oh. No, I'm just, I've got a new seat. Ness is putting me in a new seat. Yeah, so when she pops out, you're in frame and she's in frame. Yeah, isn't Chloe absolutely gorgeous? I know. Every time I'm with Chloe, I'm like, it's ridiculous. She's like glowing. She has just saw your shoes. She's beautiful. Oh yeah? Oh <laughs> so this these shoes I love so flipping much. Rob hates these shoes. I always tell everyone. It says something that I take delight in telling everyone that Rob hates these shoes. I think that they're the greatest shoes ever. I think they're completely amazing. Rob thinks they're vulgar. I love them. A close up of the shoes. Oh, I was show you the shot. Yeah, Chloe is the new Oscar statue. It's true. Yeah, the shoes, just real. I love the shoes. Okay, I want to see. I'm curious. The perfect convention of it. And this is, this can be like for you wearing it or uh, look how quick. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Okay, I love this outfit. You look adorable. Why is this the perfect convention outfit? Well, for me, it's yes. the perfect convention out outfit because it's comfortable. Comfortable. I Beautiful. need to be comfortable when I'm meeting my fans. Yes. Um, yeah. And because you spend a lot of time, like, I don't know, moving around. I mean, I move a lot when I talk. Or I'm like, hi, how are you? This, that, da, 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 da. Um, I don't want something that will create, you know, marks under my arms. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I want uh, something that won't be like too, um, too, that will show too much cleavage. Right. Yeah, very <laughs> modest. She's modest and ladylike. No. I love um, it. Because it is a kids friendly space. Excellent. Uh, and I don't know, I just guess, I, I, I just want to leave room, I guess, for the character more than 
for, you know, it's just like I want to be neutral and comfy and feel good. You it's know? perfect. And not be worrying about like, oh, if I sit down, because, you know, we do panels. So if I'm sitting down, like, will people like see too much of my stomach or too much of my thighs or too much? I just want to be able to be myself. Now, do Is that you? Okay? <laughs> no, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> do you plot out your convention outfits? Like, do you like try things on before you go, or do you? Yeah, I will typically. Yeah. But again, and that's the other thing. I'm thinking of selfies. Right. Because right. these selfies, then they belong to the fans, and so sometimes that means they belong to internet. Yes. <laughs> and so yes. I typically will choose like a simple t-shirt, but again, a color that I like. Yeah, a color that suits me. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So yes, I will, and I'll also try to not always bring the same stuff. So that's why I'll, I'll plan it out. So I, this is I do that too. Yeah. I like I don't want it because I see like seasonally I'll have yeah. my favorites. Yeah. But I don't want to wear the same things because all the pictures are going to be out. Yes. And I yes. don't want exactly the same thing happening each week. Exactly. So, all right. All right. Next one. Speaking of Collins. Okay. But Chloe Hollings. Yes. Go put on what you think would be Widowmaker's favorite thing in your closet. Okay. Go put on whatever. You have five minutes. Whatever would be Widow's favorite thing in your closet. Widowmaker. Yes. Whatever you think would be her favorite thing. Uh, I think she would hate all of my clothes. <laughs> Did you hear? Her? I am sure she would not. But we're gonna have to talk about that. About why she would hate your clothes. That is so funny. No, Chloe is amazing at quick changes. Considering how many people I know who it takes them freaking forever to like do this, it would take me longer than it's taking Chloe. Oh, it took me. Would it? Oh my God, it's so funny. Uh... Yay, thank you, Doll71. Yeah, I love this too, I know. This is, this is a, a, new, a new format we're trying. Yes, Derpy Burger, I agree with you. Yes, but that's sort of why this question is happening. Re oh, Dream, yeah, I know, I know. Rob always gets furious with me because it takes me forever to like pull my shit together because I'll be like, okay, is everyone ready? And then I need another 10 minutes. It's like always my story. I am still in LA. I am. Oh, thanks, Sapphic, thank you. Yeah, fun. Yeah, these are, this is the first of the series of the style streams. I want to do a bunch of these about what people are saying with their clothes and what pieces they love and what pieces like are new and that they love and where they got them. And then we play games in people's closets. This is our, this is a new style stream experiment. Experiment. Okay. What? Okay. We're going to see Widow's favorite thing in Chloe's closet. So, yeah, that's adorable. I love that. Oh, I found my laundry key. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so widow made sure you your laundry key. Okay, why is this widow's favorite thing in your closet? Well, um, because there's nothing else <laughs> <laughs> for her. Okay. Um, okay. But I was thinking she needs, you know, she needs to be comfy. Yeah. Because she needs to be running around and shooting and stuff. So she doesn't want to be like. Uh, wearing a, like a little skirt or a dress. Right, right. Um, sober colors, is that a thing in yes. English? Yes, uh, yeah. So like, she, yeah, she likes low-key somber. Low-key, so that she can hide and like, you know, all of that stuff. Love that. Um, yeah, and also who cares about what you're wearing when you have a mission? It's, now, this is so funny. Mm. I obviously am way less intimately acquainted with with her not there. Right, exactly. But I think of her as being a glamazon. Like I think of that skin. I think of the I think she's all like va voom. I think of her with the purple and the catsuit and the true. But, that's not, but I but to me I see it more like she's wearing all that because it's more practical. It's, it's practical. close to the body, it's stretchy, it's and yeah. yet and yes, of course it's sexy. Because she's fabulous. Because right. Because. Yeah. Because she is sexy, but I think I don't think that's her concern 
so much as the ability to run around and slip and, you know... Do what she needs to be do. Be hidden and all of that. That's what I think. So then how does it make you feel when you're wearing this? How do you feel, Chloe, in this? Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, well, I feel the opposite of that. Tell me, tell me. I mean, I feel very comfortable in this. I, it's very simple. It's, um, I love the pockets. Yeah. Uh, I like wearing it with the heels, but I don't have to. Right. Um, I actually wear this very often for auditions. It's a great piece. It's like a terrific day to night because, piece. Because, yeah, yeah. And it can be both like with a bit of jewelry. Right. It can be, it's something that I could wear at a, at a gathering. Right. And it's something that I could just wear for With whatever. a pair of sneakers to, to run around. To do laundry. Yeah. Yes, now we know I do laundry with this. <laughs> no, it's a terrific, it, this is a great piece to have in your closet because it is, it's like a great travel piece. Yes. Yeah, yes. definitely. And it's both, it's like, it's, it, yes, it's both simple but Elegant. I yeah. like it. Yeah, it is elegant. Also, we got it at Crossroads. <laughs> also, Crossroads. Yes. So, okay, do you have favorite places to shop now in L.A.? Crossroads, well, obviously. Polka Dots was one of them. Polka Dots. Crossroads. crossroads. Even though Crossroads, you know, it means that you're, getting, you're only getting secondhand stuff. But it's great. Um, and to be, can I be completely honest? I want you to. I have a friend who works at the Couples. Oh, the Couples is great. And, which is this French brand. Yeah. And so that's basically my third favorite place because she gets all these discounts. Excellent. And it's beautiful. And it's like it's and lovely. And the clothes yeah. are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. Polka dots, crossroads, the Couples. Yes. Are Chloe's three favorites. Oh my God, I love this. Okay. Do we want one more chat? Was there anyone? Was there a challenge that you wanted to issue? That we haven't issued yet? Let's see. The last one. The last one? The last message. I want to make sure she sees it. Let me see. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. And now. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Chloe, go put on the least Widowmaker thing you have in your closet. Oh my god. Your most okay. un Widowmaker thing. Easy. Go for it. So easy. Most un Widow thing in the closet. I actually, I had another I had another idea, but I like this better. I like this better. This is right? Fun. This is a fun question. I like this. That was the whole thing. Yeah, me too. I like this one. Yeah, good one, Dream. Good one, Dream. Yeah, you know what? What's so wonderful is that in the last, I would say, five to seven years, all of these designers have been sticking pockets into women's clothing. Thank you, God, thank you, God. Because before that, you never ever got a freaking pocket. And even women's jeans are not designed to have pockets that are actually usable, except unless you've got change or something. We can't actually use them. But I've got all of these dresses with hidden pockets. I've got like jumpsuits with pockets. I have all my pants with crazy pockets. Like the pocket game is really getting better in women's fashion, thank God. Thank God, thank God. So much better. I like it. I'm into it. Is it? Do you? Do you are you in the belief that they don't have pockets so they can sell bags? In part, yeah. I think that it is. I think it's it's. You know, they they wanted to create a look, and this is the look, and then you've got your bag to carry your stuff. It also makes it harder for women to like have autonomy, frankly. Mm. If you you design clothes that keep them in heels and in a skirt that they can't really run, and oh yes. <laughs> look at little go go girl Chloe! Hey, look how cute you look! Oh my god, you're adorable! Thank you! Oh my god, you look absolutely adorable. Wait, you know what I didn't do? I haven't taken pictures of you with this. Look at all these okay. things. This, that is so cute! Oh my god, okay, so tell me what we're wearing. So, this is also bought at Crossroads, I believe, but it is a Chloe dress. Oh, it looks like a little Chloe dress. It's yes. adorable. So yeah. it's a Chloe dress. I think it's silk, maybe, or it looks adorable. like something like that. Adorable. And these are Italian boots that I love that I got from France. Anyway. Fabulous. But uh, yeah, I thought it would be the least would make a thing because it's very pink and very girly <laughs> and not very like you can't really do anything in them. And Short, that's ruffle, a heel. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. I love it. I love it. It's adorable. It's very flashy. It's adorable. Now, where do you wear it? 
I think I, again, because I, I got to LA in August 2019. Right. Right? right. So August 2019, that's like seven months before COVID hit. So I got this in LA and I probably wore it once. Pre-COVID, right. Pre-COVID. I think I wore it another time. Um, I wore it like on my birthday last year, but it was just like me alone, <laughs> basically. Yes. And so we'll see, but I could wear it, I don't know, I guess I could wear it at a day party. Yeah. You know, or like at a cocktail or something. Uh, I don't know if I would just wear it, wear it. Would I just wear it, wear it? It's no. adorable. I it looks like so it. cute it's very, you. Yeah, but it's very pink. <laughs> yeah, but it's dark pink. It's not like lucky yes. pink. True. Yeah. Do you know, I, I almost wore a long pink dress with a ruffle over to your house today. That would have been hysterical if yes. I did that. I know. It's this really cute pink dress. It's like yes. very funny. That would have been great if we were pink ruffle twins. Oh my God. Well, we, we can be one day. We'll have to do it one day. Yes. Okay. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. games with us today. Don't change out of your clothes. You look adorable. Oh, yeah, it's sorry. Okay. No, I, I got so it. used to it. You're like, oh my God, no, it looks so cute. Um. Fam, mwah, we are going to be back tomorrow with Jeannie Bollet doing a style stream with her, voice actress for Echo. We're going to be getting over to her house tomorrow afternoon. And then on Monday, hold your horses, we are doing a style stream with Zoe Geschwind. We are going to her house and doing it. I'm so excited. So keep yourself together, guys. We're going to all be uh, style streaming for the next few days. So, mwah. and we also might do an experimental stream on Saturday. So, so get ready for that too. But Chloe, I love you. Me too. Mwah. I love you. Ah. Is she so gorgeous? She's like ridiculous. She's off the chain. I know, I can't stand it. You look adorable for a girl who claims that you don't care about clothes or style. You have a modest style and very Yay. cute clothes. Definitely. <laughs> cool. mwah. Goodbye guys. See you tomorrow.